The Dassault Rafale is a French multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. The Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, nuclear deterrence missions, as well as many more roles we'll cover later on. The Rafale is an interesting aircraft as it almost never came to be, but thanks to disagreements with other nations, it was able to become one of the best fighter aircraft in the world. Today, we'll discuss how this magnificent fighter was developed, we'll discuss its abundant capabilities, and its impressive service record. The story of the Rafale begins in the 1970s. The French Air Force and French Navy needed to replace their aging fleet of fighters. Dassault's Mirage series had been a significant success, both in France and internationally. But newer technologies and changing warfare demands mandated a new generation of fighter. The French initiated the ACF program around 1972. This was a program aimed at developing a new generation combat aircraft. By 1975, Dassault had come up with a design which was twin-engined and had a delta wing configuration, bearing some resemblance to the Mirage 2000, but distinctively different. Due to economic reasons, the ACF program was discontinued in 1978. Around the same period, European nations were toying with the idea of jointly producing a new fighter aircraft. France entered into collaborative discussions with Germany, the UK, Spain, and Italy. This collaboration was named the European Combat Aircraft. However, disagreements arose, primarily due to differing requirements. While France wanted an aircraft capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles, the UK and others were more interested in a primarily air superiority platform. Unable to reach a consensus, the UK, Germany, Spain, and Italy eventually went on to develop the Eurofighter Typhoon, while France decided to proceed independently with its project. With the European collaborative approach falling apart, France reinitiated its fighter project, now named Rafale, meaning gust of wind or burst of fire in a more military context. The program officially began in 1982. The first prototype, Rafale A, was a technology demonstrator and took to the skies on July 4th, 1986. It was an important milestone and demonstrated many of the aircraft's capabilities. Further variants of the Rafale were developed for differing roles. The Rafale C is the single seat version for the Air Force. The B model is the two seat version for the Air Force, where the second seat is for a weapons systems officer. And finally, the Rafale M is a single seat version for the Navy, with strengthened landing gear and a tail hook for carrier operations. Following a rigorous testing and evaluation phase, the Rafale was introduced into the French Air Force in 2001 and the French Navy in 2000. Throughout its development and operational life, the Rafale has been praised for its performance, agility, and versatility. The aircraft's design, combined with its advanced avionics and weapon systems, make it one of the most potent multi-role fighters in the world. The Dassault Rafale is known for its multi-role capabilities, and this flexibility extends to its armament options. The aircraft can be equipped with a mix of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles, as well as a primary gun and various types of bombs. Here's a breakdown of its armament capabilities. Capabilities. Its primary gun is the GIAT 30 M791, a 30mm autocannon with a rate of fire of around 2,500 rounds per minute. The cannon is fitted in the aircraft with 125 rounds of ammunition. For air-to-air -air missiles, the Rafale can carry the Magic 2 short-range infrared guided missile. The MBDA Mica can be used for both short and beyond visual range engagements. 
Woods. It comes in two versions, mica infrared homing and the mica radio frequency. It can also carry the MBDA Meteor, a long-range air-to-air missile with active radar homing. For air-to-ground, the Rafale can carry a variety of missiles. First, the MBDA Apache Standoff Attack Missile, used for anti-runway operations. Next is the Storm Shadow, a long-range air-launched cruise missile, used for deep strike missions. For anti-shipping missions, the MBDA AM-39 can be used. For nuclear deterrence missions, the ASMP-A medium-range air-to-ground missile with a nuclear warhead can be used. The Rafale can carry a variety of guided and unguided bombs as well. To add to the lethal weapon capabilities, the aircraft can carry various pods, such as the Talios pod, an advanced targeting pod used for target designation and reconnaissance, the Damocles pod, a laser designation pod used for targeting in conjunction with laser guided munitions, as well as the Eros pod for reconnaissance. The Rafale also features features the Spectra Electronic Warfare System, which provides threat warning, electronic support measures, and electronic countermeasures. The Dassault Rafale, since its introduction into service, has become the backbone of the French Air Force and Navy. Over the years, it has participated in numerous combat operations, demonstrating its effectiveness, reliability, and multi-role capabilities. In 2007, Rafale started flying operational missions in support of NATO ground forces, performing reconnaissance and ground strike missions in Afghanistan. Rafales were among the first coalition aircraft to operate over Libya in 2011. They played a significant role in enforcing the UN-sanctioned no-fly zone and carrying out strike missions against Libyan ground targets. In 2013, France intervened in Mali to assist the Malayan government against Islamic extremist groups. Rafale were pivotal in this operation, performing a variety of missions including airstrikes, reconnaissance, and air superiority roles. Starting in 2014, Rafales were deployed as part of the coalition forces against ISIS. They were involved in numerous missions including intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and airstrikes against ISIS targets. In several instances, Rafales were deployed on board French aircraft carriers in the eastern Mediterranean Mediterranean, particularly during tensions and operations related to the Syrian civil war. While not directly a French operation, the Indian Air Force's Rafales reportedly became a significant deterrent after their introduction, especially following the Balakot airstrikes and subsequent aerial engagements between India and Pakistan in 2019. Beyond France, the Rafale has also been selected by multiple countries as their primary multi-role fighter, attesting to its global reputation. These countries include Egypt, Qatar, India, Greece, and Croatia. Each of these nations had its reasons for choosing the Rafale, ranging from its operational capabilities, versatility, interoperability with NATO systems, or political and strategic considerations. Throughout its service, the Rafale has been praised for its performance and adaptability, demonstrating its prowess in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles across different theaters of operation. The continuous upgrades and the integration of new weapons ensure its relevance in contemporary and future conflicts.